Yes. Um, subsidiary rights refers to a derivative work based on or adapted from the original book. So a book we traditionally think of as something being published on paper with a binding and uh, um, you can hold it in your hand. If you take that content of that book and you uh, use it in a different medium, that's a subsidiary right. So the audio rights, a lot of people have audio books, or the movie rights, or adaptation rights, sequels, prequels, translations, foreign rights, um, book club editions, anything where that original manuscript is going to be configured differently. Um, when we're talking about screenplays, the Writers Guild of America has a concept called separation of rights, where those various uh, different formats are broken down and each of them has a procedure to exercise them. And um, not in the book publishing business. Often a major publisher will have the publishing contract and it will convey to that publisher all subsidiary rights. Well, it could be that that publisher doesn't have any interest in using the audiobook rights or publishing it in Japanese or making a podcast out of it. And if they're not involved in those areas, the publisher isn't involved in those areas of exploitation, there is no reason in the publishing contract that the subsidiary rights should be owned by that publisher. Author holds those back. Publisher is fine with that. Good luck, good luck to you. Make a movie, do a podcast, it'll sell more books for us.